السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website. Today question is very nice. Uh, the question is very simple. Ya yeah, Hani, I need to know how to reduce the total float of my materials, uh, submetal and procurement, and this is also applicable for shop drawings and so on. So the question was, okay, I have FCU material submetal. Then I have the FCU material approval. Then I have the delivery. And these durations are the uh, duration given by the procurement department. However, the FCU installation will start in later date. So here I have something like six days float. Of course, this six days could be 60 or could be uh, 100, 200, whatever. So what is the scenario to make my total float or the delivery date of the material just uh, suitable or just on time as bare the site requirements. So I'm going to tell you a few tips and tricks how to fix your materials, submittal, approval, procurement and delivery and this is also applicable for the uh, shop drawings. So let's start with the first scenario. Okay, I have here the material submittals. If I check the relationships, this is linked start to uh, finish to start with the project start date. Okay, now from here I can see that the material approval it is linked as a successor to the material approval. So I will add here one more column which is the total float. So by adding the total float, I'll be concentrating on how many days I can delay this activity without impacting the project. So the first method to reduce the float I have here these six days is to move this material submitter, let's say, by five days. By doing this, as you can see, now the material submittal was shifted and I have only one day float because this material will be delivered 21st July and I need the installation 23rd July. This is one method, okay, but I don't recommend this method. Why? Because I need to be in the safe side. I need my material to be submitted, approved, ready for procurement. So I recommend to uh, have these two steps which out of my control because the consultant or the client might take more time approving the material. And if I did it like this, I might be in trouble because I, uh, the, uh, the material approval could take more than five days. So the second thing or the second scenario, I'm going to keep this as is. Now I'll go to the material delivery. Now I have my material submitted and approved, then I can delay the procurement a little bit and let's say by five days. In that case, okay, I am in the safer side than the previous scenario, okay? I have still have the one day float, okay? And the material procurement will start and end just on time. But this also not my preferred method. My preferred method is a mix it with two scenarios. So here I'm going to remove this one. What I could do if in your uh, if I'm was doing this uh, uh, schedule, I would increase the delivery period a little bit. Let's say I'm going to increase it by two days, so I'm going to make this five. Then I'm going to shift it by three days. Now I have a contingency period here of two days. So if anything goes wrong in the delivery duration, I'm still on the safe side. And in the same time, I moved the start date of the procurement to the date I believe it is suitable to the project. Now you might ask yourself, Hani, why we are doing this? We just keep it to be delivered earlier. Let me tell you, this will not happen in the, your project. You will not deliver the material way ahead of time because usually you don't have enough storage places and you need to pay money and whenever you need to pay money for the material as a construction company, you need to collect it back by installing it. Uh, you might have a scenario where you have material on site in your payment. It's okay. But the point is the best scenario in the material delivery is to be just on time.
So here I have one day float. I moved the procurement a little bit. And the reason I moved the procurement date is when I'm going to update this schedule, it will not show delays if it is planned to start here, for example. If it is planned to start here and the uh, site people didn't uh, procure the material because it is uh, early, then my schedule will start recording delays. So now I'm going to start on time and I have contingency period in the delivery and this is, in my opinion, the best scenario to fix your uh, procurement. I don't recommend to make all your materials critical or near critical even. I mean here we have this scenario, uh, very simple schedule, but in the real schedule, I might have 10 or 15 days of float here. I hope you found this uh, video useful to you. See you in the next one.